Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for a quick video. Going to show off a little player room that I have been building uh, that I'm pretty proud of and I think will be a nice um, collection into the future here. And this is going to involve the player that you see in the background, Kylian Mbappe, uh, the most exciting young soccer player on the planet, in my personal opinion. Uh, this guy's 23 years old at this point. He's won a World Cup. Uh, he just lost the World Cup barely uh, to Argentina in what was maybe the greatest World Cup final in history, or certainly one of them. Uh, dynamic talent for France and Paris Saint-Germain uh, in League One in, in France, and uh, kind of the guy who I expect collection-wise to take up the mantle from Leo Messi as far as soccer players that I target. Um, so while I do collect soccer, I, I try to keep a much more narrow focus in that sport than I do in baseball and hockey, where I kind of want to collect a lot of the Hall of Famers and stars. Um, soccer, I like to have a much uh, smaller selection of players that I go after. And, and right now, uh, Kylian Mbappe is definitely in that small group. Um, he has been since probably 2018. Um, so it seems a little weird to say, but I have been collecting him for uh, four or five years now. Um, this is his rookie card, which I've shown in the past uh, from the 2017 Topps Chrome UEFA set. Uh, really, really awesome card. And with that one in hand, kind of started to put some thought into how I wanted to organize or move forward in my collecting of uh, Mbappe. So one thing I decided to do, which we're going to look at today, is throughout his career, I am going to maintain a run of these cards here. Uh, these are Topps Chrome Sapphire cards. Um, anyone watching this who is a baseball collector will instantly recognize these. Um, Topps started producing these on the baseball front back in 2016 as uh, factory sets, limited edition factory sets, uh, 250 sets only created uh, in 2016. Still creating them in the baseball realm to this day, although maybe in slightly larger numbers um, than, you know, 250 copies, um, but still relatively limited compared to Topps Chrome uh, and other shiny products. They have the, obviously, the atomic refractor effect applied to them, and in most years have a blue tint uh, applied to the card as well, hence the, the Sapphire name. Um, so in the soccer world, Topps finally got into producing Sapphire cards in 2019. Uh, I know they did a set for the Bundesliga that has an Erling Holland rookie that's very desirable. And they also started making the annual Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League Sapphire set in 2019. And what you'll notice, um, at least with the first couple as we get through the, the current run of these that exists. Uh, so this is the first ever uh, Mbappe Sapphire card from Topps. Um, it's labeled as a 2019 Chrome UCL. And with soccer, uh, for those who aren't fans of the game, the season spans two calendar years, um, just like basketball and hockey do here in the United States. Um, so this is really a 2019-20 release. And it may have even come out, I think, in the spring or you know early winter of 2020. And so even though it's a 2019-20 release, um, those of you who collect modern baseball will have already realized you know, instantly that this is essentially the 2020 Topps baseball design, Topps flagship and chrome and sapphire baseball design. So this is another example of something I've been talking about recently uh, in terms of crossovers of designs between sports. Topps having a license to Major League Baseball, uh, but also a license to produce UEFA Champions League and Premier League cards and others. Uh, they're able to reuse this awesome design. So it's really great that I can get like Juan Soto on this exact design in Sapphire, and I can also get Kylian Mbappe on this design in Sapphire. So at one point, this was a crazy card. I think that there's rumor that maybe between two and 4,000 uh, copies of each card were produced for this first uh, Sapphire set. And at one point, you know, even raw, this was like well over a hundred dollar card uh, when the soccer market was really crazy a couple of years back. Uh, things have definitely corrected, so to speak, and was able to grab that one uh, graded in a PSA 9 for about uh, under $30. So this is uh, the cards that I'm showing today in this little collection that I'm building is not by any means expensive. Um, it's just the design that I enjoy and a player that I enjoy and something that I think will, I'll have fun upkeeping uh, throughout his career. So uh, there's the first one. We take a look now at the 2020, which again, remembering the, the split season, this may have come out early 2021. So this is the second uh, Sapphire Mbappe and again, those who are baseball collectors will instantly recognize uh, this design from the 2021 
Topps flagship baseball release. So great one here. Um, I have to say out of the three, um, and I think it maybe comes across this way on video as well, this design really like pops the most out of the three and it really, you know, the, the atomic effect that's applied to the card is really noticeable and just um, I don't know what they did differently with cardstock or printing process or something in 2021, but uh, in my personal opinion, this one here is the best of the three. Uh, we got a different kit here from Mbappe than the white uh, that was on the uh, the first card, so nice job by Tops of varying it up a little bit. And then that leads us to the third and final card. Let me try to get this looking a little better in the light. The third and final card that exists so far on the run uh, from the 2021-22 UCL Sapphire set. Here's Killian's base card. Nice uh, goal celebration photo there in front of the fans. Pretty cool image. Um, didn't love this image at first, but it's actually kind of grown on me a little bit. Um, and it does provide some variety compared to, you know, the first two cards in the run. He's got a different kit on um, in each of the three cards. Kind of different action photos, so... Um, I think it's coming together nicely. This is something that I plan to keep up with uh, throughout his career. I hope that I'm fortunate enough to uh, continue to find them, you know, each time the product is released in a PSA 9 like this uh, to save money. Uh, I don't think any of these three breached the $30 mark, and I don't even think any of them breached the $25 mark um, in a 9. Obviously, that took a little bit of patience and uh, hunting around, but I'm willing to do that, and uh, so hopefully I can keep that going in the future, and at some point later this year, maybe add the 2022-23 Sapphire uh, when that comes out. And uh, you'll notice as well, one last comment on this one, uh, this does not follow the Topps baseball design directly. So they did kind of part ways um, after two consecutive uh, sets where they really exactly mirrored the baseball design. Uh, in 2021, they kind of used a unique design for the UEFA Champions League. So there's the three card run uh, that currently exists as of right now, you know, filming this video here in uh, early 2023. Those are the only three Sapphire, Killing Mbappe base cards that are out there. Um, but yeah, more to come on that front. And I'll probably dig these out uh, once a year and kind of update this video as I keep this run going into the future. But for today, that's going to be a wrap. I uh, appreciate you stopping by to check out these soccer cards of all things. And I'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and enjoy the hobby.